everyone keeps telling me how my story is supposed to go. Look in my eyes, tell me your tell. Do you see the road? I match my soul. Tell me the size whenever the smoke clear out of my face and my picture perfect. Nah, I'm gonna do my own thing. Look in my eyes, tell me your tell. Do you see the road? I match my soul. Tell me the size. When Are you ready to be entertained? Let's get into another episode of Supernatural. Absolutely, season one, episode twelve. Let's get into it, y'all. I don't know why I keep going like this. There's a lot of shit going on right now, guys. I think that's what I'm trying. I'm trying to distract myself from all the shit that's happening. There's literally an ambulance, like, in in my damn garden, right? I don't know what's going on. So there's a lot of flashing lights that you guys can't see, but I can see because I'm looking directly at it. So I'm trying to, like, snap and not, you know I have ADD. So I'm trying to focus on the camera, focus on you guys, and it's going to be a challenge, so bear with me. Um, we are on episode 12, and we still have a long effing way to go. You wanna see this in a full reaction? You can, the links are down below. And while you're down there, please hit the like button, share, and don't forget to comment. Now, without further ado, Let's jump into Supernatural and find out exactly what the show has got to give. Uh, what's this called? A dozen volts. Oh, yeah, I want this raw head extra freaking crispy. Sounds horrible. Let's go. On three. One. Two. Kids. Is it still here? Okay. Sam! Sam, get him out of here! Sir, I'm so sorry to ask. There doesn't seem to be any insurance on file. Okay, Mr. Berkowitz. Uh-huh. Dreaming when we drove past the house. Then we stopped. Ran in. And you found the kids in the basement. Electrocution triggered a heart attack. Pretty massive, I'm afraid. Can uh, try and keep them comfortable at this point, but I give them a couple of weeks. Can't work miracles. I really am sorry. I talked to your doctor. That fabric softener, teddy bear. Ooh. I'll hunt that little bitch down. Hey, I'm gonna take care of that car. I swear I'll haunt your ass. I don't think that's funny. What can I say, man? It's a dangerous gig. I drew the short straw. That's it. End of story. We still have options. What options? Yeah, burial or cremation. I'm gonna die. And you can't stop it. If this is an emergency, call my son, Dean. 866-907. He's sick, and, uh... Doctors say there's nothing they can do. Don't worry, because I'm, uh... And do whatever it takes to get him better. Me? What the hell are you doing here? I check myself out. Are you crazy? I laugh in the face of death thing. It's crap. I can see right through it. One of Dad's friends, Joshua, he called me back. Told me about a guy in Nebraska and let you die, period. We're going. Oh my yeah, god. Oh my You're a lying bastard. I just said we're going to see a doctor. <laughs> I believe I said a specialist. Range is a great man. Yeah, that's nice. I have a right to protest. This man is a fraud. I think he's not part of the flock. But when people see something they can't explain, there's controversy. How can you be a skeptic with the things we see every day? Exactly. We see them. We know they're real. I've seen what evil does to good people. Maybe God works in mysterious ways. Oh, my God. That's the lady in Dexter. I'm sure. I'm Dean. This is Sam. Come on, Layla. It's about to start. We're sitting up front. What? Why? Come on. Oh, come on, Sam. Oh, <laughs> Is he blind? Pop Ann brings me the news. Never seems good, does it? I say to you, God is watching. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Yes. Choosing who to heal by helping me see into people's hearts. Their wallets. <laughs> you think so, young man? Watch what you say around a blind man. We got real sharp ears. <laughs> well, I want you to come up here with me. Come on. Okay. What are you doing? You, you, you've come here to be healed, haven't you? Maybe you should just pick someone else. Oh. 
I didn't pick you, Dean. The Lord did. Amen. Not exactly a believer. You will be, son. Say something. According to all your tests, there's nothing wrong with your heart. No sign there ever was. Just yesterday, a young guy like you, 27, athletic, out of nowhere, heart attack. That's odd. Maybe it's a coincidence. People's hearts give out all the time, man. No, they don't. When I was healed, I just, I felt raw. I felt cold. It's old man. I'm telling you, Sam, it was a spirit. But if there was something there, Dean, I think I would have seen it too. Uh -huh. Sam, I've been hunting long enough to trust a feeling like this. Why don't you go check out the heart attack guy? I'm gonna visit the Reverend. Where did they start? The miracles. Woke up one morning stone blind. The doctor said I wouldn't wake up, but I did. And the cancer was gone. And suddenly you could heal people. I discovered it afterward, yeah. And his flock just swelled overnight. And this is just the beginning. Out of all the sick people, why save me? I looked into your heart and you just stood out from all the rest. A young man with an important purpose, a job to do. And it isn't finished. Didn't smoke. You know, so heart attack is kind of seen, you know, bizarre. Said that something was, uh, was after. Did he say what? Well, thin air is what? This pro was at 417. Was at the same time Marshall died? Hey. Hey. How are you feeling? I feel good. Cured. You know, my mom, she went in to talk to the Reverend. Layla. Roy's resting. He won't be seeing anyone else right now. This is our sixth time. He's got to see us. Roy's well aware of Layla's situation. Have faith, Mrs. Rourke. Why are you still even here? You got what you wanted. Mom, Roy would stop choosing these strangers over you. Strangers who don't even believe. I have this thing. It's a brain tumor. In six months, the doctors say. Why do you deserve to live more than my daughter? Ew, why is your lipstick off of your lips and on your cheek? <laughs> Marshall Hall, that 417. The exact time I was healed. Yeah. Each time the victim died of the same symptom of Granger's healing at the time. It's trading a life for another. Hello? I think I probably would have died anyway. And someone else would have been healed. Dean, I was just trying to save your life. But Sam, some guy is dead now because of me. What I don't understand is how is Roy doing it? He's not doing it. Something else is doing it for him. There's only one thing that can give and take life like that. Death. We're dealing with a reaper. Oh! You really think it's the Grim Reaper? Like, Angel of Death? Not the Reaper, a Reaper. There's Reaper lore in pretty much every culture on Earth. But what, do you think you should have been working the whole black robe thing? <laughs> Reapers stop time. And you can only see them when they're coming at you, which is why I could see it and you couldn't. Question is, how's Roy controlling the damn thing? That cross. I mean, tarot dates back to the early Christian era, right? When some priests were still using magic? Roy's using black magic to bind the Reaper. If he is, he's, he's riding the whirlwind. Okay, then we stop Roy. How? You know how. Deciding who lives and who dies, that's a monster in my book. No, we're not gonna kill a human being, Dean. You can't kill death. Any bright ideas, college boy? If Roy's using some kind of black spell on the Reaper, we gotta figure out what it is. If Roy's using a spell, there might be a spell book. See if you can find it. Roy LaGrange is a fraud. He's no healer. Amen, brother. You keep it the good work. That lady has something to do with it. Roy's choosing victims he sees as immoral. And I think I know who's next on his list. Yeah, I'll find him. But you can't let Roy heal anyone, all right? Layla. Layla Roar, come up here, child. Um, 
me you can't go up there. Why not? We've waited for months. You can't let Roy heal you. I can't explain. I just need you to believe me. Layla. I'm sorry. Layla. Where is it? It's right there! Uh, if you'd all just leave the tent in an orderly fashion, and we'll come I did back. it. Stop, Roy. Yes, sir. David? Dean, it didn't work. The Reaper's still coming. It must not have worked. Roy must not be controlling this thing. Well, then who the hell is? The wife. Help! Help me! Help! I got you. Gotcha. He was saved. After everything we've done for you, after Roy healed you, Lord will deal with him as he sees fit. Get you around here again, son. We'll put the fear of God in you, understand? Oh? Yes, sir. Why would you do that, Dean? And it could have been my only chance. He's not a healer. I know it doesn't seem fair. And I wish I could explain, but Roy is not the answer. I'm sorry. Goodbye, Dean. I wish you luck. I really do. Same to you. You deserve a lot more than me. I don't think he has any idea what his wife's doing. No. Nope. Well, I found this. There's a binding spell That's in here right. for trapping a reaper. Cross a line like that. A preacher's wife. Black magic, murder. She was using the binding spell to keep the reaper away from Roy. Yeah, but Roy's alive, so why is she still using the spell? Force the reaper to kill people she thinks are immoral. You know, Sue Ann had a cop that crossed like this, and when she dropped it, the Reaper backed off. Whatever we do, we better do it soon. Roy's healing Layla tonight. That's Layla's car. She's already here. You know, if Roy would have picked Layla instead of me, she'd be healed right now. Dean, don't. She's gonna die in a couple of months. What's happening to her is horrible. You said it yourself, Dean. You can't play God. Gather around. Please, everyone, gather around. Go find Sue Ann. I'll catch up. What are you... <laughs> Gonna put that fear of God in me? Oh! Go ahead, Dean! Run, baby! Run! <laughs> that poor dog! Psycho mutt. I gave your brother life, and I can take it away. Yeah. The Lord chose me to reward the just and punish the wicked. It's God's will. Mrs. Roar? Sue Ann. Oh. Oh. You okay? Hell of a week. Damn. We did the right thing here, didn't we? Of course we did. It didn't feel like it. Sam called. He said you wanted to say goodbye. So, um, where are you going? Oh, work kind of takes us all over, so. You know, I went back to see Roy. And he laid his hand on my forehead, but nothing happened. And so I am. She's dead, you know? A stroke. You no, know, Roy's a good man. Mm. He doesn't deserve what's happened, to believe in something so much. And have it disappoint you like that. I'm okay. Really. So if you're gonna have faith, you can't just have it when the miracles happen. 
So what now? God works in mysterious ways. <clears throat> you know, I'm not much of the praying type. I'm gonna pray for you. That's kind of sad. Well, well. So, didn't you guys love that episode? I actually really did like this episode. I like this episode because it had a lot of meaning to it. It was extremely powerful. Um. And it went by very quickly. The show does that. The show has a tendency to go by very, very quickly. Um, I want to know what everybody else thought. So I say I would give it an 8.5. That's how I feel, and I feel alone. Um, so let's see. I'm just kind of curious. And feel free to comment down below what you guys thought about this episode. If I see anything less than an 8, I think that I suspect, before I go here, that majority of people are going to say it's about an 8. Uh, what episode is this? So uh, we are on Faith 8.7. Okay, this is a popular episode, y'all. Um, an 8.7. So the lady in here looks just, and I'm, I've been calling her Dexter's wife. If anybody who watches Dexter, um, she, and I did reactions on my channel to Dexter, but I, it always took it off because the, whoever owns Dexter does not want it on. So I have it in full reactions in case you guys are wondering. Um, regardless. So Dexter's wife in season whatever it is, was I believe her because she sounds just like her and she's super annoying and she was kind of she wasn't that enough she didn't do nothing wrong in here I think I was just remembering her in Dexter and being so agitated she's like for people who don't like Suki and True Blood if you guys do watch that show she's equivalent to Suki but in another show um, here I liked the whole vibe, the whole feel on one must live for one, wait, one must die for one to live. And that's like everyday life. Every second somebody's dying and every second somebody's being born. And it's like actually kind of creepy. Um, <laughs> just like, you're out, you're in. Like it's just actually horrible. Um, but it is the circle of life. And here we had the blind guy who had nothing to do about nothing. His wife did do some dark magic, black magic, to save her own husband. And, you know, I don't know. I feel like I would do some crazy shit to save my own family, and I'm just keeping it real with you guys. So her dibbling, dabbling in black magic, I'm like, oh, <laughs> maybe. But I feel like I wouldn't, con I, I wouldn't continue it, right? I would know I'm going straight to the burning piles of hell if there is one um but i would save my family and i i don't know that's just how i feel i'm just keeping it real but then you know what once you started for one then you're going to keep going but like okay how about my close friends you know what i mean and like meanwhile you're like killing a bunch of people so <laughs> there's that um regardless i liked the emotion that sam had he wasn't like yeah some lies bye guy like once he found out that somebody actually died, he wanted to rectify that issue. Although Dexter's wife ended up being, at the end of it, she's gonna die. Um, but it is kind of how life is, right? Um, I did enjoy this episode. Once again, I would have gave it 8.5. This rating is an 8.7, which is once again, extremely high for any type of TV show, but people really did love this. You know what I'm kind of curious? If season two is gonna be a little bit brighter, as in the palette and the tone and the cinematography, don't get me wrong, I kind of like it because I got Dean and Sam in here and the stories are extremely well written, but I just kind of don't like staying in complete darkness. like. Give me a little, shine your light on me. Shine your light on me. Just shine a candle, a put a background light. Like it's so dark and I know that they did it on purpose. I just hope that in season two, that it gets a little bit brighter. And I bit my tongue as I was talking to y'all and screaming like a banshee, so that kinda hurts. So I'm gonna wrap this up. Um, once again, I love this episode. Feel free to comment down below and let me know what you guys think. And while you are here and while you're commenting, liking, and sharing, please check out all my other reactions before YouTube copyrights them and there are zero reactions left. And until next time, y'all, I'm off this.